Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I got a new palette and of course, every time we get a new palette, we gotta test it out, check it out and see. So I thought while I was testing it, I'll go ahead and film this look. I am actually headed to the lakes area, not too far from here, to go hang out with some family friends. And so I just thought it would be fun to create a makeup look, kind of Memorial Day themed so I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah this is a palette I used I have been really loving the burger palette from Glamlight actually have it right here and I also have the packaging for the taco palette this is what it came in and I really really wanted tacos the day I received this palette but my favorite Mexican place was closed which was kind of a bummer but anyway at least this palette came so let's go ahead and swatch so beautiful I've already tried this palette out once and then I filmed this eye look so I've worn it twice already and I'm really impressed of course I still need to test out all of the shades before I can fully review it for you guys but here are the first five shades we've got onion uh, Mexican cheese radishes polo and guacamole. I'm guessing polo is something I don't know what it is. Um, this is a shade I'm wearing as a brow bone highlight today. Um, and it's so beautiful. And I think it's also a beautiful inner corner shade. I actually bought a glam light palette when nobody was really talking about it too much on YouTube. The Masterpiece palette. And I really liked the formula on the Masterpiece palette as well. I have since decluttered it. But I must say, they have a really nice formula. And if you are looking for a beautiful metallic formula, you're really going to like this palette. Now, I think I was talking about this palette on my YouTube community tab. And I'll, there were a few people that said they're not really into food themes. And I can totally understand that. I personally don't mind it. It doesn't, like, turn me off that the palette is food themed. Um, but I do love all the greens, too, that they do. Like, this is so convenient for me that they did tacos and burgers and so many gorgeous greens. So if you're a huge connoisseur of green shadows like me, you might want to check it out. So here are the next shades. We've got a beautiful shimmery green for cilantro, lime, carnitas. I haven't used it. Pico de Gallo is gorgeous. And then this red shade, Salsa Roja, I did use on my eyes today as well. Ugh. These are so beautiful, you guys. And I'm not even saying that to say it. It's just because I've used the palette twice and I know they perform well. Um, I can't remember how much the palette costs off the top of my head, but I don't remember it being like super overpriced. And I think they have Afterpay too. I could be wrong. Afterpay is kind of a awesome feature. I don't know if it's available internationally, but it's so nice to be able to just buy something and then pay it off um, and not have the money come out of your bank account all at once. Oh my god, this shade is what I'm wearing on my lid today. So here is the last row. So we have the purple shade is red cabbage, pickled carrots in my crease, um, al pastor, which is that Shimmery red shade is what is on my eyelid, and then the green is called Salsa Verde, and Carne Asada is the beautiful dark brown shade that is also in this eye look. So here are all of the swatches of the Glamlight Taco Palette, and now I think it's time for me to show you guys how I created this look. Okay guys, I thought it would be fun to use uh, my new palette. This is the Glam Light Taco Palette. And I got this in the pre-order. I had talked about not buying this on Instagram and I was like, nah, I'm gonna pass on it. And I was like, you know what? I really am enjoying the burger palette. And it was a pre-order situation, so I didn't wanna like miss out. And I actually wore this to work the other day and I really liked it. So I'm glad I have it. If you haven't seen the burger palette, which I can't imagine you haven't, but this is what the burger palette looks like. I did notice mine was um, leaking. I think I saw something about it on Instagram, but I don't remember what people were talking about, but it does look like my shade Blue Cheese and A Thousand Island um, are both leaking some kind of fluid. Those were a little bit more wet compared to the other shimmer shades and definitely compared to the mattes. So 
thought that was a little interesting. I should probably do a little bit more research, but so far I'm really loving this palette. So I thought it would be fun to use the taco palette today and kind of do a little toot, not really a tutorial, but I just wanted to show you guys what kind of eye look I could come up with. And I haven't, have I shown this on my channel? I can't remember. I bought this um, at Ulta after I watched somebody on YouTube recommend it and she said that she was no longer supporting P. Louise. I don't really know much about the company, but um, she said that this was as good as their base and I never tried the P. Louise base, but I was like always on the hunt for a good white base. Um, a little goes a long way with this, and I don't really need a white base for the Glam Light Shadows. As uh, I just mentioned, I've used them before, but I wanted to talk about the base because I like it. And yeah, I think it's really nice. It works really well for me. I'm wearing like a very monochromatic blue situation. I got blue jeans on and this blue shirt. Um, so... I don't want to do anything too crazy, but I think I might go in with like the reds and the orange shades. I did like a golden look the last time, but I really want to play with the shade Pickled Carrots because it's like a coral shade. So I'm going to grab my biggest, fluffiest Sonia, um, Wayne Goss brush, number 16, and just place this in the crease. So it's actually Memorial Day weekend, so excited, first long weekend of the year. I miss long weekends so much, you guys, because in Sri Lanka, which if you didn't know, I'm originally from Sri Lanka. I lived there for 18 years before I moved here to go to college, and Sri Lanka has the second most public holidays in the world. I just recently saw that statistic on like a Facebook, you know, thing that people were sharing, and I was like... I'm so jealous because like I swear Americans have the least amount of holidays and it just sucks because I swear I spend so much of my time working. It's just insane how hard I think Americans work. If you have like a full-time job, any kind of full-time job working from home, whatever, I swear we work the hardest. We're like ridiculously hard like at work because I think people just are so chained to their jobs like financially it's honestly kind of ridiculous um to see our lifestyle when you compare it to countries in like Europe and how much more they're focused on taking care of their people it's just it's kind of a crazy thing but what can you do right it's all part of the wheel anyway so I really like how that shade was very opaque, easy to blend. I didn't have to really think about anything. Now I'm grabbing a Sonia G, what is this, a Crease Pro. It's kind of more of a pointed um, crease brush and I'm going into the shade Salsa Roja. And I kind of want to concentrate that in the outer corner because it's like a darker red. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep that on the outer corner and darken up the look a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'm just so grateful for a long weekend and I didn't film last weekend and so I'm just like excited to have some more videos done for you guys and my mom actually leaves to go back home this weekend or sorry, not this weekend, but this coming upcoming Thursday. So I'm kind of like a little bit bummed. I know, you know, all good things must come to an end and she's got to get back home to my dad and stuff like that. But it's always hard. And now with those um, terror, terror attacks that they experienced um, during Easter time, like security is just like on another level back home. And like she said that at the airport, she's going to have to take like a shuttle um, to the parking lot to my dad. Um, instead of where usually he'd be able to like pick her up at the airport and now they're like Not really letting anyone near the airport which <laughs> Seems like a lot, but anyway, um, also adding the shade Carne Asada, which is like a really nice chocolate brown. I actually wore this in My eye look that I did this week with this palette and it's just like a nice dark brown And again, I just use that in the outer corner um, to kind of darken up the look and then I'm just going in with the Wayne Goss brush to help blend so That's pretty much it for 
my crease and my outer corner. Now we're gonna pick the lid shade. I really wanna go in with Al Pastor, which is like a beautiful bright red shade. And as per usual, I just have my handy dandy flat brush. And I didn't need to foil the gold shade. I used Mexican cheese on my lid the last time I used this palette. So I'm gonna try before I wet the brush to see if I can build this shade up without wetting the brush because I think that, uh, you know, that's kind of important to know about a palette um, is how nicely the metallics build up. I mean, obviously you can, you know, wet it and it'll make things work as well. Um, but this is a kind of shimmer shade I like is one that I don't have to foil. I'd rather it be like fully opaque on its own without me having to foil it. It's going on really beautifully. This is a very um, Memorial Day kind of look, red, white, and blue. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. And then I just want to blend a little bit. So once my mom leaves in this week, next week, we're actually expecting our best man from our wedding, one of Rilla's old friends um, that we haven't seen in about a year or two, actually, I think. Oh, there was some fallout from the shimmer shade that I just rubbed into my face. Um, and so he's visiting us for a couple of days as well. So it's going to be a fun summer as per usual, busy summer. I'm sure we'll be putting a lot of time in at work as well. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish up my face and then I will be back. So I have been trying all my foundations and kind of putting them to the test, seeing which ones I really like, and um, it's been going okay. Really realizing a lot of the foundations I have I don't really like, which is kind of a bummer, but what can you do? I do still really like my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is actually the Water Fresh one, and so it's a little bit more hydrating um, than their regular Double Wear. So actually I used to wear this a lot in the winter time, but I've been caught up with other foundations, which is why I kind of went on this journey to re-explore my foundation drawer. Um, sometimes you just forget about the good ones, or the good ones that you used to love just aren't, you know, the way you remember, which is fine. This one, though, honestly, like, clings on. It's so full coverage and flawless. And the shade match is pretty good, too. Oh, my gosh, I... I recently tried the Charlotte Tilbury, what is that? It's like the magic lightweight one that comes in the squeezy tube. And I bought the shade number nine and it was so dark on me. So I think I need like her shade match for me, I think is 8.5, but she only just extended her shade range. And uh, I don't think she makes an 8.5 in all of her foundations yet. So hopefully that's something she's gonna get better at. I recently watched Jacqueline Hill's video of how to make your makeup last all day and it was impressive. I don't know if I could do that every day. To be very honest with you guys, I mean the amount of powder and foundation she puts on her face every time she gets ready is like, I'd, well I definitely get through my foundations a lot quicker, that's probably for sure, but I just don't have the time to do that every day or bake like I don't really bake a lot either anyway yeah so that was interesting though you learn a lot I really love this Fenty concealer so much <laughs> I think it's so easy to blend and the coverage is really good too so I really like it um oh the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my no buy my no buy lasted probably solid like two weeks I would say and then all the new releases were announced and yeah my no buy is basically going to end here when the new releases start coming out like I really want the um, Juicy Olive palette which I told you guys I was going to take a break <laughs> from my no buy on the day it came out but then they announced like 
the new ABH palette, which I'm not really sure if I still want that palette. Sorry, I'm adding the shade Onion, which is like, I don't really do a highlight, um, a brow bone highlight anymore, but this shade Onion, it's kind of a beautiful white gold. So I thought it would be like the perfect little sparkle up there. Anyway, so I don't usually um, say no to ABH palettes, but I wasn't really in love with the Riviera. I haven't really talked about it since I've played with it. I meant to like review it, but then I just was like, mm. and then everyone was talking about it anyway. And like a lot of people that reviewed it at the time it launched had really good things to say about it. And I was kind of like, not really sure. Because I liked the concept more than I liked the shadows. Like, the shimmers didn't really feel that great, in my honest opinion. Um, so I'm not, like, I love that they collab with a real drag queen. And they're bringing to life this, like, awesome, colorful palette. But as far as, like, my love for ABH... Is it still growing strong? I don't think so. I'm just gonna like, eh. Also, you guys, game changer. Oops. I wanna tell you about a game changer. This is um, a three pack from Amazon that you can buy. It's the Tinkle like face shaver. I saw my friend Nisha on Instagram do like a how she shaves her face tutorial on Instagram and so I thought she made it look relatively easy and I was like fuck it I'm gonna try it so I bought these they're like $7.99 recently I saw Samantha March purchase them too and I was telling her how I used them and they are pretty sharp so you definitely want to be careful um, but I've really been enjoying it the only thing I remember um, I definitely nicked like a little bit off my eyebrow so that's why I remembered while I was doing my eyebrows. So be careful, but I would totally recommend them. I think I have my Amazon. I created like an Amazon list for you guys. Um, just so I could add like favorite. Oh God, my hair. I'm just trying to like tame some of this frizz. But anyway, um, I did create like a little Amazon links page for you guys on through my, like my Amazon account. So if you guys ever wanna shop, anything I say is from Amazon, you can do that through that link. So feel free um, to check them out there, but otherwise it's like the most popular, like people's choice on Amazon. I went back to my Hourglass powder. I've been trying to like bake and powder more um, because a lot of the foundations I've been trying out, I feel like are very slick and um, don't stay on. And so I know a lot of people recommend powder for that, baking for that. So that is what we have been doing to try and make our makeup last longer is to, especially like right here, my makeup moves around, my under eyes, of course. And yeah, anyway, I don't know, I'm just blabbering. Um, but I really like this powder, so, and I never use powder, so I'm like, Karen, just use the powder, like, don't be a weirdo. I wasn't planning on filming myself doing my face products, but you guys are gonna see where I went, you know, where I went down with my no-buy situation. So I did pick up the Aladdin, the bronzer and highlighter, honestly, because this is like one of the first bronzers I've seen MAC do in a long time. That's like tan girl friendly. I mean, look at that. And they make good bronzer, you guys. There's a reason they were like dominating, you know? So as a person of color, as a tan girl, like I was really pumped. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, the Latin collection is so boring. Um, you know, they just, it's so like ordinary and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know what? This is the first time that Mac did a collection and it's like a bronzer that actually shows up on me. So now I feel like lighter skin tone people finally feel the pain of like being tan. So I know it sucks that they didn't do like something inclusive for everyone, but I feel like people should be patient, especially because this collection is Jasmine and 
you know what, Jasmine was like Middle Eastern, so it's okay if you, you know, you're light and you got left out for once. Like, I'm not saying that they should purposely exclude people, but it's like, it's okay that they gave, you know, tan girls something to look forward to um, as well. And I don't think we should like trash it for, I just hate like when people go after brands for not being like inclusive of everyone. I mean, it's so hard to really include everyone I mean, I know it should be happening in this day and age, but it's like if they do one collection that's more tan girl friendly and one collection that's more, you know, deep tones and one collection that's more light tone friendly, I'm okay with that versus them trying to make one collection like blanket for everyone because sometimes it's just easier to handle, I think, it being broken up. So this blush I use is new too. This is tuned in from ColourPop. I've been really into their Super Shock cheeks lately and I did put a little extra on just so it would really pop and I'm gonna go out to the lakes and see my mom and stuff. She's out there with my friend's family right now, my best friend's family, so I'm gonna go see her in a bit. Um, so yeah, it's a little much, but that's okay. Um, and then I did grab the highlight as well from the Aladdin collection and this is beautiful. It's just very natural and goes so well with my skin tone so if you are a tan girl and you've been wondering if you should take a look at this collection i say yeah <laughs> i say yes 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 <laughs> so yeah i did break my no buy um for this collection it didn't sell out right away so that was good um but i'm just so happy that mac did a bronzer that's gonna show up on my face to be very honest with you guys and i don't know why i can never i'm decided to just go in with what's left on this brush on my under eyes Ooh, I really like that. And then I should do some eyeliner as well. I think I'm going to go in with one of these. I'm, I've been loving these. I've been telling you guys about them. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon. Oh, this is a lip liner. Have I been? Mm. Oh my gosh. I really kind of love this. Okay, so everything's done. I also saw this in store and decided to buy it. Um, it's the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face. I do want my makeup to last quite a while today, so I'm gonna spray it, and then we're gonna do mascara. Okay, and somebody told me don't talk while you're spraying this, because it apparently stinks. Okay, one, two, three. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like hairspray. <laughs> and then I saw somebody go nuts and freak out and say that the first ingredient in here was alcohol. And uh, honestly, if it makes my makeup last, <laughs> I don't really care what's in it. <laughs> as long as I, you know, won't like, my face won't fall off, like I'm okay with it. Oh, today's also the mascara sale from Nordstrom. And I really want to try the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara, but I'm trying to not buy everything, and I just can't justify spending 50 bucks on mascara right now. Um, and I'm using the Lancome Monsieur Big, which I bought this during um, one of those Nordstrom sales, but I clearly had more money <laughs> when I was doing that because I also stocked up on the MAC. Lower Lash Line Mascara. Is it called a Gigalac? It's the one I'm going to use next. I really want to get the Monsieur Big in the waterproof version. Because I feel like this one transfers. And um, just wait and it'll come back around. The sale will come back around. I swear last year I felt like they did it more than once. Do you guys feel like they did? 
Okie dokie. I'm gonna let that dry. So I got these magnetic <laughs> lashes because my friend wears them all the time. Like all the time she wears them to work and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, get the one with the applicator, the one that helps you apply them, which is this. And she's like, that helped me so much. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And so I got it and I still can't get them on, I swear. So I don't know if you guys have tried magnetic lashes um she puts them on all the time you guys i don't even understand do you guys have tricks for these like and it's so funny too because like she um definitely doesn't wear as much makeup as i do but she loves to wear these lashes and i'm like struggling to learn how to put them on and this is like my second pair of magnetic lashes that I've ever bought because I'm so curious because they look beautiful and stuff but I can never get them on let's just try on camera Okay, I give up. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to keep trying to practice because that was not good. I just love the idea. You know what? I think I could probably get it done better if I had like a half a lash. I think that's my problem. I also did get some of this really cool glitter from ColourPop that I kind of want to pop on. Um, it's that Jelly Much stuff. I think I only need like a little bit though. Because I don't want it to actually cut my eyeball up. Wow. Ha! So cute. So I just threw some on in the inner corner. Oop. This would be so fun for like 4th of July. I got the shade Trippin' On Skies. It's so beautiful. It's like a white um, glitter, but once you play with it, you'll it like shifts gold. I definitely put too much on, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, for lippies, I want to do... Um, more stuff from like their birthday collection. I did get a blotted lip and a glossy lip. So this is Swing Away, which is an ultra blotted. Oh, I'm so excited. So they look like you've just been like sucking on a lollipop or a popsicle and then you layer on like a gloss. And it's just like the juiciest look, so love that. Okay, guys, that is everything. Here is the finished look. Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle trying to get those magnetic lashes on. Clearly, I ditched them because that was not working out. I would appreciate any magnetic eyelash tips down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the taco palette. What do you think of the shades? Will you pick this up if you get a chance to pick it up on sale? Or is food just not your thing? I would love to see them do a sushi palette just because I love sushi. I think that would be awesome. I can totally see them doing like a McDonald's palette. I don't know how the rights for that would work. What other good food? I mean, I could see them doing like a spaghetti palette. That could be fun, like lots of cheeses. Like we could do like some yellow cheddar shades and some mozzarella and that could be kind of fun. So we'll see what Glamlet has in store for us and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.